Thanks for tuning in to News 13 this morning. I'm Megan Gannon. Right, well now to our top headlines this morning and we begin in Bay County where a fifth Mexico Beach employee filed a discrimination lawsuit against the city. Walton County deputies say a man wanted for trafficking meth is now in custody after fleeing from authorities back in December. A man trying to burglarize a Parker restaurant got more than he bargained for over the weekend. Holmes, Washington and Jackson County residents are invited to discuss their concerns and wishes with state lawmakers just ahead of the upcoming legislative session. Uh, so Pretty I, cold I there. want people to know though from when you <laughs> left Panama City to when you landed, what was the degree difference? So we left last Saturday mm -hmm. and it was 75 degrees and sunny here in Panama City. Beautiful day. It's the morning and especially on a Monday. Monday. Exactly. <laughs> Let's get to that question. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a soda, by the way. Okay. <laughs> of course, now that you're here on a Friday, we could do the Friday dance. Friday together. dance. Friday dance. Friday Woo! Dance. Everybody get up, do the Friday dance. Dun, 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 dun. We're ready. <laughs> we are ready. Yeah. This is News 13 This Morning. Well, good Monday morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to News 13. This morning, I'm Megan Gannon. Chris Marchand and Kelsey Pegg both have the morning off. We thank you so much for joining us. We hope all of you had a wonderful and very merry Christmas yesterday or happy Hanukkah over the weekend. We thank you for joining us on this Monday, and we're going to get right to your top headlines. And we start with our headlines this morning in developing details on a Bay County murder investigation. Panama City Police say they are still on the lookout for the suspect who killed a 22-year-old Panama City man at the Foxwood Garden. Gardens apartments last week. This is a surveillance picture of the man's vehicle, which was spotted leaving the scene minutes after the lunchtime shooting on Wednesday. If you have any information in either of these cases, you can remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers at 785 TIPS. Also in Bay County, officials need the public's help in finding a suspect involved in a deadly hit and run crash. Florida Highway Patrol troopers say it happened on Shasta Street and Front Beach Road shortly before midnight on Thursday. Troopers say the unknown driver didn't see 21 year old William Griffin of Panama City Beach on a scooter, rear ended him and drove away. Officials believe the driver was in a newer model red or burgundy Jeep Liberty SUV. A Panama City Beach man is in serious condition after crashing his truck into two houses. According to Florida Highway Patrol troopers say 54 year old Scott Donaldson was driving his truck on North Lagoon Drive when he went off the road and struck the side of a home Friday. A few minutes later, he traveled nine more feet, striking another home. Donaldson finally came to a stop between the two properties. The case remains under investigation as troopers say they don't know if alcohol played a factor in the accidents. And authorities say they are awaiting autopsy results to identify a man killed in a Panama City Beach house fire last week. Crews were on the scene for hours after the fire broke out at a home in the 2500 block of Joan Avenue. Bay County Fire Rescue says they believe there were four or five people inside of the house when the fire started. Fire Rescue has deemed the house a total loss and the state fire marshal is investigating what started the blaze. A man trying to burglarize a Parker restaurant got more than he bargained for over the weekend. Parker police say 55 year old Rick Orton tried to rob the old Mexico restaurant with a pocket knife, but he was tackled by customers and held there until police arrived and arrested him. Officers add that Orton had just robbed a convenience store in Callaway before he walked into the restaurant. And the new Washington County Sheriff will be starting a little bit sooner than expected. Governor Rick Scott announced the appointment of Washington County Sheriff-elect Kevin Cruz along with three other sheriffs. All four were elected as sheriffs on November 8th and are appointed to fill temporary vacancies created by retirements. These appointments have an effective date of January 1st, 2017. Cruz will fill a vacancy created by the retirement of Washington County Sheriff Bobby Haddock. 